Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. Last time we got a mysterious email. Let's see who it's from. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of there now. Ah, and you know how to do that, right? Theoretically? No. That's... But anyway, yeah, as far as the undernet goes, we only have access to Internet Area 5 for right now. Each subsequent area will require another memo in order to get through them. So we got to go to Scilab eventually to find the guy who has the next memo and so on and so forth. But as long as we're here, let's clean out this place. There's going to be another much faster way to... Uh, what is it? To get back here once we go through this area and do some other stuff. So let's take a look around. Oh, okay. Be careful, man. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, not going to use it, but it's there. This area is also really good to meet up with those Gaia enemies. And I can win the Iron Body Chip from them. All right. I was going to have to farm that, and I thought I did uh, pretty badly in the battle there, but no, I did pretty good, or good enough. Uh, that chip is pretty hard to get. You can only get it if your busting level is between ranks 5 and 7, although 6 is optimal. So, all right, that'll really help me out. But like I said, uh, you could also win the Gaia 1 chips from them. And those are pretty good, because they hit so many enemies at once. Gotta remember to get that random mystery data later. There are a few other things that I would like to do, though, besides farming that chip. Didn't even have to go out of my way for it. Well, maybe I should record my post-game episodes live. I was thinking about doing the post-game with, well, post-commentary, but because of all the chip farming I'm going to have to do, but with the amount of luck I get recording live commentary, maybe I should just do it that way. Now, anyway, up there in the upper right, there's another exit there that can take you back to Internet Area 9. But if you go there, you won't be able to come back right now. So just something to keep in mind, but that's where I'm going to be coming back here through eventually. It's much easier or faster to get here through that other exit or entrance or whatever. But currently, we can't do that yet because we don't have the right memo. So anyway, this guy's going to sell us his stash. And the most important thing I want to get is the 8th power-up chip. And that's the cheapest one we can get for now. So, and I'm not going to even buy any more power-up chips. There are other ones. Some of them, well, yeah, they're, they're more expensive or otherwise difficult to acquire. But I want all I really care about is maxing out my attack and charge stat. I'll only max out rapid when I get to the post-game. But for now, I don't think that's there's much else we really need to do with that. I know I saw a random mystery data up here. Awesome. Eh, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Let's see, we also got a Gaia 1 chip from the previous battle there, so I definitely want to take advantage of that. Let me see how we're doing on attack power for chips. Hmm. Probably get rid of the heater chips. Yeah, I still like Sonic Wave chips, even though their damage isn't that impressive. But being able to hit everything for 100 damage is really, really good. You could also do that with Guts Man 3 chips, but I'm not going to do that in the main storyline, or at least not for now. So, let's save after that, and continue onward. Now, the upper left path there, that'll take you to the area I was telling you about with that with the exit that goes back to Internet Area 9. I don't want to go there right now. I want to use my pin to get more treasure around here. Fixed treasure, not random treasure. 20 more HP. Awesome. Not that I really need it, but it's there. And there's another chip I want to get this way. Non-random. And a new enemy there, too. Okay, that is B-Tank 3. And they can hit your entire battlefield with one of their bombs. So you want to watch out for that. So let's see. Can I get two chips at once? No. Okay. I'm 
gonna go with this one. There's also a trick with the Gaia enemy there. Where as they hit you, it kind of roll... The quake effect kind of rolls to you. And you can do it like that. And as it's coming towards you, to the left, you go push to the right. And if you do time it right, you can avoid getting hit by that Gaia quake effect altogether. I think I got a little lucky doing that this time, though. I wasn't quite perfectly focused on it, but... Well, I got it all the same. Hooray! Okay, so there's a Thunder 1 tip. If you did not win one earlier, this is where you would get it. So it's an easy way of doing it. That's another reason why I didn't farm it. But I don't really care about that. Other than, you know, having it for my collection. I don't like using it for practical purposes. Uh, you know, let's actually get rid of the Thunder 2 chip. I do not like the Thunder chips. They're even slower than Tower chips. It is sad. At least the Tower chips, if you time it right, you can use them properly, but the Thunder chips, man, they're just so slow, and they don't deal that great damage anyway. Okay, well that's everything I can do here. Let's see, I need to get back to Scilab to get that memo. So I'll meet you back by the government complex then. Okay, we're back. Took the train over here. So now we gotta find that one scientist who used to work for the uh, Wiley's gang, whatever. I don't like saying World 3. Whatever. But anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do here while I'm doing this backtracking, I'll show a little bit of the backtracking on screen so you can know precisely how to get to the guy we're looking for. But if it's like a massive backtrack to get from one place to another or whatever, then I'll cut out like a lot of the legwork in between. But anyway, yeah, this is the guy that we are looking for. Yeah, it's not Mr. Freud or Dr. Freud or whatever, but well, there's one of them. And they didn't hold your family hostage for doing that? Oh, where are they? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think what happens here is you have to have a certain number of chips in your inventory that you've won from enemies or found or whatever. And there's two people here that we gotta find for two other memos. But yeah, I don't know precisely how many chips you need because I've never had a problem with that. Really, unless you're doing like a hardcore speedrun, it shouldn't be a problem. But, okay, we're done here. I'm going to go to Dentown to find the lady for the next memo. Okay, we're back at Dentown here, and in order to get the memo, we need to go to the summer school. It would seem that Shud was somewhat correct about some lady working for the bad guys. But anyway, yeah, it's our teacher. Or summer school teacher, but yeah. So yeah, you gotta have a chip count. I have more than enough. I guess that's where she got all those reformed programs. In the blackboard there or something. But yeah, I have more than enough. Seems like kind of an odd way to determine... Whether you're strong enough to handle the bosses coming up, or whatever. I mean, I would think they would base it more on your level. Like, based on your health, or how many armors you've bought, or whatever. But, well, apparently not. But anyway, yeah, we've got more than enough there. And there's one more guy we gotta get a memo from. And they're back at ACVC Town. So I'm gonna meet you over there. Okay, we're back at ACVC Town. And this is the guy we're looking for. Well, there's only so many old people around here. Oh, you were? Oh, okay. Oh, I've got plenty of chips. Yeah, we'll be fine. But anyway, alright. So now, each of those memos that we got, that will... Take us to internet area 6, 7, and 8, respectively. So, yeah, we don't really have a new dungeon 
to go through for the seventh scenario here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in order to get back to the undernet, I'm going to go to Dad's computer at uh, the government, or the side lab there, and we'll take that to get to where we need to go. Okay, we're back at Internet Area 3 from uh, Dad's PC access. So let's go to Internet Area 9. With a secret passage. See, now for this part, see, go up and to the left. Not even going to bother with random mystery data here. Okay, took care of those guys. So now that we got that uh, lab memo, we can go through here to get back to Internet Area 5 since I've already cleared everything out. I don't need to do any backtracking around there. Oh, what's going on? Aren't you with them? Oh. Oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, we have the memo, so we're okay with that. By the way, as far as armor coming up here, I would recommend the wood armor because no enemies in the remaining internet areas that I'm going to be going to have fire elemental attacks. Heat armor, there's some enemies who... There, well, there's one enemy who could use water attacks on you, so you'd be weak to water there. Or if you use... If you got the aqua armor already, there's an enemy who can use electric attacks on you. So yeah, wood armor, that's the way to go. And the mystery data here. Not that I'm going to use it, but it's there. Okay, how's it going? Oh, right. Well, we already got that. They are. But anyway, let's see what we got. Yeah, we can use the same memo for the first ones because they both connect to Internet Area 5 here. But now, we can go to Internet Area 6. All right. But can we find the server in the undernet here? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.